Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a personal swap that I'd like to share with you. This is for Jen Miller over on Junk Journey Junkies. We, um, I'd asked her to swap, I think it was last year, and we finally got it done. So we decided to do a twine, um, closure or binding, which, my book, again, Jen, it's fat. Good thing you don't like to write in it. So we did um, vintage, and I'm going to get through it because it is fat. So on the cover is stenciling with um, some Maya gold, a lot of beeswax, picture from Pinterest, a little clock, old-fashioned clock charm, vintage lace, uh, corners, and this is just a Cricut cutout and some clips. Yeah, let's see. Inside, we just have a lot of goodies. We have um, a lot of pockets, my Tiffany stamp. We like little babies and little kids, so that was from Dreams, etc. And then just another little girl in the bag. And here we have tickets, Tsunami Rose tickets here, and an envelope. Each page I sewed um, muslin on it to reinforce the holes. And lace. There's a lot of sewing in this. Here is, I downloaded some booklets from Pinterest and just made uh, little, little booklets out of it. And this is just a flip up and different tags. A lot of different stuff that I enjoy doing that I wanted to share. This is a little AC, um, ATC card that I made. Little scissors. And little flip up because I know Jenny likes to sew. Uh, Decoupage napkin with a little booklet I just made out of a book page. And it just tucks in there. I'm crooked. This is just a little coin envelope I made. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Just a little piece of sewing ephemera. And there's a little pocket with a Thread and a butterfly. Here is, and I see she put one too. These are little paper dolls from the Tim Holtz. And I just did a postcard in there. And little button trim. And this is a bag that I did just a grouping down there. And then just a homemade tag with... Um, I tried to ruffle some um, cheesecloth and I put it in there. This is a another trading card I did with another little Tim Holtz little girl with some cut out blueberries. This remind me of yesteryear. I used to go pick blueberries all the time in the sand plains. Oh, I left the page blank. I'll cover that up, John. Um, live. Green. This is just some paper that I coffee dyed and attached with some washi tape. And there's some, um, I can't remember whose paper that was. Do not be afraid for I am with you. And I have a um, variety of little paper clips in here. Here, one of Sue Olson's dress with the, just the little note cards tucked in there. And here is an envelope I made. I think it's German. It's very fragile. It's from the 1800s. And I just made a little envelope with it. And I just tucked it in here. And some little kitty postcards and rabbits. I heard somebody likes little rabbits. Little flip up. Seed pack. I just sewed on that so you can write on that. This is pretty, so I just left that. This is uh, one of my little hangers from Tim Holtz, I think. Here's a pin with, if you can see that, with a little spool of thread with a pink ribbon. And that's a little tag on it. Here's a little tuck spot. You may know when you're, you'll never know when you're making a memory. And that comes off. You can write on that, and that's just cheesecloth. Little flip up there in a packet in here. I'll, I'll put some surprise in there. And same thing with that. This is another little packet. 
and just a little button with um I think it says snippet. It does snippet. Little page with some vintage lace. Here's another little booklet I made with a book page. And just oh, I can't remember the color. I know this is Nectar Creations, Letter to Rose. And here's some baby. I think this is Dreams, etc. And some nursery rhyme little pieces. And here is a picture. Actually, this is, I love this picture, so I had them printed out. This is my mom when she was a little girl and my grandfather. I just love that little picture. And this is another little booklet that I sewed. Oh, they go on the other side. I said I printed off Pinterest and just made a little booklet of the old-fashioned school books. I just thought those were cute. I have that on here. I hope you like this, Jen. I had fun making it. And here is, again, I didn't put anything in it yet because I want you to be a little surprised. In the pocket, on a, actually on a bag, and that just flips up. And here is another booklet, Little Ones ABCs. It's actually, I glued the last page down so you can write in there. And then that opens up, and there's some bingo cards with a little flip up. And then this, another little tuck spot, and that flips out, and then there's a tuck spot there. He's getting creative. Look at that. And another flip up. And then there's a little tag and then a little bag with some tags in it. And here's an envelope and some writing paper with this pretty girl. And that's a pocket too. With a heart um, paper clip. And this is just another little tag booklet I made. And here I found your initials. Not to say you're vintage, but it just kind of all went together. And there's a little rose. And then there's a pocket. What is in this pocket? Oh, this is a little um, booklet I made. I It's all jostled over. You can write on it or you can put something on, in, in there with the pattern paper. So there's a lot of little booklets in here. In here is a tag. We just, um, this has been beeswaxed. I did a little beeswaxing inside in a bag. And here is a tag. And I found this cute little tiny brad that's got the little bunny ears for you. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a tag that I made out of music paper. I just jostled over it. So there's a little girl and boy ice skating. And over here we have tags and... She is, let's see, she is decoupaged on there with a napkin, and then there's tags, tsunami rose, and a paper clip. Also over here, it's just say, um, I know how you like these little envelopes. I, I had the punch, and I made a bunch with little, little notes inside. And over here we have, um... Some little angel girls and another little picture of an angel or a little girl. Let's I'm not sure who this ticket that is. And again over here, another little pocket I made out of the book pages. It's um it's been a little bees waxed. And some more little vintage babies that I have tucked in there. And it's a decoupage doily and some tickets over here that you can write on and i did beeswax right onto this glassine bag with another little piece of napkin <clears throat> over here is just a tag with a little angel girl and a flip up and another little flip up with just a pretty postcard And here, this is almond beeswax. It's a piece of vintage lace I put on a piece of cardstock. 
and I beeswaxed it off and then I just sewed all my tags with a light blue thread for his little shoes. Oh, another blank page. I wanted to get this video done, so I'll fix that. And this is a burlap page that I had made a while ago with all vintage lace. And I just put some, just some big tags on it. And then you just tuck it in there. And then the back is um, a new stencil I um, bought. And it's crackle. So it's all crackled. And I did some... Um, paste and little gold on it. So, Jen, that's your thick, thick book. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.